Amen. Kirk, I knew, um, I knew that girl you live with. <laughs> that girl you're married to, I knew she could sing. <laughs> but I'm impressed. All right. Um, I want to do a couple of things first before I even get started. First of all, I just, need to, I just need to thank you for allowing me to come back. I am excited about being here. And, and it's humbling to come back. Um, your pastor and I spent some time together yesterday after the boot camp. And um, I shared with him that you guys were so, so generous to me last, last time I was here. And I just want to share with you that that has meaning. Uh, when it comes to handling money, the, the Lord and I have a really weird relationship. He takes care of it. And I trust him to. And I know we're all supposed to do that, but for years I didn't live that way. But because of y'all, I can go into some of the churches that I do. I was with the church a couple of months ago where I bought the pastor lunch. Your pastor paid yesterday. Okay. But in this church I was in a few months ago, that's just where they were at. And it gave me the opportunity to pay for it. Um, so I just want to say thank you for whatever y'all do, okay? All right, uh, I've got a table back with a whole bunch of stuff on it. I won't tell you, I won't tell Miss Pat which of you have not purchased my novel because she's a pain if you're not careful. Don't tell her I said that. I'll do some more, okay? All right. Y'all have one of these cards. I gave one to every one of you that I saw, unless, unless you were late. But I gave them to everybody as you were sitting there. And if you don't have one, you can get one in the back, okay? On one side is just a whole bunch of ways to make contact with me so I can continue to encourage you on social media. But on the other side is where I want you to write down, if you're a man, Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, 7 a.m., an opportunity for you to pray with other men. Or just to get on the phone and listen. Ladies, don't pound him to make sure he gets on the phone. He'll do it if he wants to. But ladies... We also have one at 6.45 every Thursday morning for y'all. Yes, God is up at 6.45 in the morning, ladies, okay? But um, we, we have a great time with that. So please participate in that. Uh, my prayer partner and I do about 35 of these uh, a, a week, and we have a great time with them, and you will too. Do not feel like you have to get on the phone and, and just begin to participate and, and, and be a hallelujah prayer. Don't even worry about that. I have people that get on... And they just listen, right, Sandra? We have people just get on, and they just listen. You will be surprised at the way God blesses you in various ways, okay? All right, uh, I want to take just a couple of, This is all for free. It has nothing to do with my message yet, okay? Uh, I want to mention something else that Pastor and I talked about yesterday. I have never felt like this with any church I've been to. I mean, I've, I've encouraged this, but I've never made the commitment that I felt like I needed to yesterday to your pastor, um, I'm going to start a, a pulpit ministry for y'all, which means while he is preaching, men and women are praying during the service. All right, I've done a number of these, and let me tell you the, the, the words that I hear from every single pastor who starts these, sometimes the exact same phrasing, it's simply this, my messages just stick better when you pray while I'm preaching. And I see this all over the place when we start these things. But I feel compelled to do something different with y'all. Um, I'm going to be back in December not to preach. I'm going to be back in December to go into this room off to the side that Brother Tommy and I have already found. And I'm going to lead the prayer time while the service is going on here. Okay? All right. So I want you guys to participate with me. So on my card you have my... My email, you also have my, um, um, my cell phone. So just text me your name. That's all you need to do. Text me your name and I'll know what we want to do, okay? But there's a couple of rules behind this. First of all, you only get to do this once a month or less. Some of you are going to say, hey, this is really cool. I love doing this. I was in a church in uh, South Georgia where the pastor came up to me a couple weeks later and said, Mark. I had a bunch of old ladies. That's not the words he used, but that's the point he made to me. They got together to pray. And when they got done, one of them came up to me and they said, Brother Jim, I don't want you to get worried here, but we had church back there. 
you will have a great time. But you only get to do it once, once a month, okay? Okay, now, I'm not going to look at Chuck because it's easier to ask for forgiveness than it is to ask for permission, okay? But if y'all in the choir want to participate, you call me, okay? We'll, we'll work something out, and I won't look at Chuck, and we'll be in... But, but, but again, you only get to do this once a month or, e- or even less than once a month, okay? Um, but let's say we don't have enough people to sign up to cover a full month. That's okay. We'll just do the first couple of weeks in the month, then it'll be put off to the side, and we'll start again at the beginning of next month. Because I'm very, very careful about making sure you only do this once a month. And here's what I know. It will grow just organically. Anyway, you'll have a great time. Um, there are a couple of other rules that I'll put together, like uh, um, which I'll, I'll deal with as we go. But I will be back in December leading this. So in the meantime, Brother Tommy and I will work on this. Um, believe me, you will have a great time. All right.